Gunfire erupted along a Mardi Gras parade route last night in New Orleans. As onlookers ducked for cover, a total of seven people were shot, including a 20-month-old child. The suspects, 19-year-old Mark Brooks and 18-year-old Louis Lazone, were taken into custody, each with seven counts of attempted first-degree murder. Two of the victims underwent surgery for stomach wounds, while the others were listed in stable condition. Bishop Richard Williamson is causing even more of a stir. After attacking a reporter, Bishop Williamson was ordered to leave Argentina and return home to England. He denied the Nazis had systematically murdered millions of Jews during World War II. Yesterday, at the Buenos Aires airport, Bishop Williamson allegedly attacked a reporter who approached him for a comment. The United Kingdom's Home Office has stated that Bishop Williamson has every right to return to his native England and will not face any charges. We'll be right back with Ed Tarragano after this break. Each day, hundreds of people in Africa die of AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria. These deaths could be prevented and the diseases could be treated if everyone had money for the right medicine. To help those in need, all you need to do is shop Product Red. When you buy a red product, such as credit cards, phones, shoes, and fashion brands, at no cost to you, money from that sale goes straight to the Global Fund, which distributes antiretroviral medicine for those in need. Help save a life. Go red. Have you or someone you love been the victim of a violent crime? Or well, you're not alone. Organizations like Crime Stoppers and Gun Stoppers are asking for our help to get criminals off the streets. Gun Stoppers will offer up to $500 if you have any information about a gun-related crime. Just call 1-877-NWK-GUNS. Crime Stoppers will offer as much as $2,000. Simply call 1-877-NWK-TIPS. Don't be afraid to call. You could be saving someone's life. For more information, log on to their website at CrimestoppersNWK.com. And now, here's Ed Tarragona with sports. Just one night after the Nets won 98-96 over the 76ers, they were off last night, as were the Knicks. Tonight, both local teams are back in action. The Nets look to make it two in a row when they take on the Bulls at 7.30 in the Azad Center. Nate Robinson and the Knicks will look to make it two wins in a row of their own when they face the Orlando Magic at the Garden at 7.30. The Knicks are currently a half game back of the Nets and two and a half games in back of the Milwaukee Bucks for the final playoff spot. On the ice, it remained a quiet night for the local teams. The Rangers, Devils, and Islanders all had the night off. However, tonight, the Islanders and Rangers are back in action. The New York Rangers travel above the border to Toronto to face off against the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Islanders go to Pittsburgh to take on Sidney Crosby and the Penguins. Baseball is back in full swing. Today is the first spring training games for the New York Mets and the Yankees. The Mets are in Fort Lauderdale to take on Nick Markakis and his Baltimore Orioles. First pitch is set for 1.05 p.m. A-Rod looks to juice things up in the Grapefruit League opener in Dunedin, Florida as the Yanks face the Toronto Blue Jays. The WBCA Pink Zone is a worldwide unified attempt by college basketball to aid in increasing breast cancer awareness on the court, as well as on campuses and in communities. Founder Kay Yao coach of NC State for 34 years, recently lost her battle with breast cancer in January. From February 13th through February 22nd, college basketball teams across the country wore pink jerseys to show their support. Caldwell College took part in, their, in this effort in their game against Holy Family by selling t-shirts to raise money. In addition, the team sported pink shirts during warm-ups. When the game was over, the effort continued as pamphlets about breast cancer were made available to everyone. Coldwell Support raised $450, which will be given to breast cancer awareness. On the hardwood last night, the Coldwell College men's and women's basketball teams were in action against North Division rivals Dominican College. The women's team played first. It was an important game for the Cougars as they looked to stay in the third spot in the CICC North standings. The Lady Cougars ended their four-game losing streak as they beat the Chargers 67-53. to The men's basketball team also battled the Dominican Chargers. Manny Perez was the team's leading scorer for the game. To go along with his 21 points, 11 rebounds, and fifth double-double of the season, he also had a reverse slam on alley-oop pass from freshman Nick Otovich. The Cougars won 84-79 and clinched the playoff spot in the CACC playoffs, yet it is unknown who they will play. In other news, Colts wide receiver Marvin Harrison won't be catching any more touchdown passes from Pro Bowl quarterback Peyton Manning. The eight-time Pro Bowler was released yesterday, yesterday by the Indianapolis Colts. The move means that the Colts free up $13.4 million in salary, and Reggie Wayne and Anthony Gonzalez will be in the spotlight. With the release of Harrison, 
the New York Giants can look into his services for a possible replacement for Plaza Colbert's if he's released due to legal issues. Stephon Marbury was, has been waived from the New York Knicks. Team president Donnie Walsh said he would have liked to have gotten something in return for Stephon as opposed to just releasing him and losing out on him. However, his salary of $21 million and his troubled attitude made it impossible to do so. Marbury was with the Knicks for five seasons and did not lead them to one playoff win. And now here's John Cabral with the weather. Thank you, Ed. Today is sunny with a high of 43. On Thursday, expect it to be sunny with a high of 49. On Friday, expect rain with a high of 54. However, the weekend isn't a total washout. Saturday will be partly cloudy with a high of around 45. Be on the lookout for the possibility of snow or rain on Sunday with a high of 36. Once again, I'm John Cabral, and from all of us at Need to Know, have a great day.